So if you want an easier time skiving, and that's going to be most people, including myself, there is one little trick that I can give you to help you skive leather. Half the difficulty sometimes is the leather is stretching or moving around as you're trying to skive at the same time. And it's a little bit like, you know, trying to be good at juggling whilst on a surfboard. If you add stability to it, if you take away one of the components, you can have an easier time focusing on the skill that you want to perform, in this case, skiving. So what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration using uh, a method that I discovered using a bit of wax. So I'm going to take a piece of wood here. This isn't leather, it's just a piece of wood, could be anything really. And I'm going to take a block of wax and I'm going to mark a line of wax like so. Maybe mark a couple of them just to give myself the upper hand. I'm going to take the piece of leather, this is just a piece of dyed veg tan here, and I'm going to place that down and just press it in. It doesn't stick necessarily, it's not sticky, but when you press down on it, it doesn't want to move around because that wax is helping it to grip. So that when I press down with a knife, I don't have to apply as much pressure just supporting it from the back as I go along to make the skive. And it just makes life a little bit easier and it comes away easily afterwards, but this grip will last for a few skives. Like so. And then if you want to remove it, what you have to do is just take a a cheap knife, for example, this Japanese knife here, Japanese style knife, and just remove that wax. If you really want to get it off there, just a little rubbing alcohol, it doesn't take too much to get rid of it and your paring stone is back to normal. One word of caution though, if you haven't already dyed a piece of vegetable tanned leather, uh, I wouldn't do this because any, dye, any wax that gets on there will prevent the dye from going through. So chrome tan leather or pre-dyed leather such as this is absolutely fine to use this technique and it just holds everything nice and still as you're skiving to make life a little bit easier for you and you may actually find out you're better at skiving than you thought if you enjoyed this tip let me know below and if you have any skiving skills to share with the community don't forget to comment below